everyone. Welcome to the class on basic electronic circuits. The topic for today is diode clamper. Before beginning with the analysis, let's revise the biasing conditions for the diode. The diode is said to be forward biased if anode of the diode is connected to the positive plate of the battery and cathode of the diode is connected to the negative plate of the battery. Let's look into the equivalent circuit for the diode when the diode is forward biased or reverse biased. When the diode is forward biased, in ideal condition, we will consider it to be a short circuit but we are aware that there is going to be a drop across the diode. For silicon diode, it will be approximately 0.7 volts. Whereas when the diode is reverse biased, it will act as an open circuit or I may say in actual condition, it is offering a very high resistance. The circuit shown here is a basic clamper circuit with a resistor, capacitor and a diode. The input applied here is a sinusoidal signal with 10 volts peak to peak. In this circuit, during the first positive arc cycle, the diode will become forward biased only after Vn is greater than 0.7 volts. Before Vn becomes greater than 0.7 volts, the diode will remain reverse bias and the output will follow the input. This is an equivalent circuit when the diode is forward biased. Now, current starts flowing through the diode and capacitor starts charging. The capacitor charges to a value equal to peak value of input signal minus the diode drop. Once the capacitor is charged to its peak value, the diode will become reverse bias. Now, the clamper circuit is designed such that the RC time constant of the circuit will always be greater than the time period of the input signal. So, the capacitor will never get discharged and the diode will never become forward bias again. The circuit shown here is an equivalent circuit when the diode is reverse bias. Remember, the capacitor has already charged during the first positive peak. Now, expression for VO can be written as input voltage minus the capacitor voltage which is equal to 4.3 volts in this case. So, when input is equal to 0 volts, output would be equal to minus 4.3. When input is equal to 5 volts, output would be equal to 0.7 volts. And when input is equal to minus 5 volts, output would be equal to minus 9.3. These are the input and output waveforms of the circuit. Let's zoom in to get a better picture. Now, as you can see, before V in crosses 0.7 volts or for V in less than 0.7 volts, the diode becomes reverse bias and the output follows input. After V in becomes greater than 0.7 volts, the diode is forward bias and the output becomes equal to the drop across the diode which is 0.7 volts. After Vn crosses the first peak, that is after Vn is, becomes less than 5 volts, the diode becomes reverse bias and the capacitor has by now charged the peak value. So as you can see, when the input is equal to plus 5 volts, my output is going to be equal to plus 0.7 volts. When my input is equal to minus 5 volts, my output will be equal to minus 9.3 volts. So that means the swing remains same, but the reference has shifted from 0 volts to minus 4.3 volts. Since the output shifts to the negative side, we will call it to be a negative clamper. If we reverse the direction of the diode, now what we will get is a positive clamper. Let's look into the analysis. During the first positive arc cycle, the diode will remain reverse bias and output will simply copy the input. Remember, no current flows during this phase. After the input voltage becomes less than minus 0.7 volts, the diode becomes forward bias. Now current flows through the capacitor and the diode and the capacitor charges with the polarities as shown. The capacitor will charge to a maximum value of minus V in minus 0.7 volts. The diode will become reverse bias after V in has crossed the first negative peak and it will remain reverse bias for the entire operation due to the design constraint. The circuit shown here is an equivalent circuit when the diode has become reverse bias. Now expression for VO can be written as V in plus capacitor voltage which is 4.3 in this case. 
Now when V in is equal to 5 volts, output would be equal to 9.3 volts. When input is equal to 0 volts, output would be equal to 4.3 volts. And when input is equal to minus 5 volts, output would be equal to 0.7 volts. As you can see, the reference has now shifted from 0 volts to 4.3 volts. And hence, we can call it to be a positive clamper. The circuit shown here is a positive clamper with plus 2 volts battery. So now the reference will shift from 0 volts to 4.3 volts due to positive clamping plus 2 volts due to the battery. So the reference would be shifting to 6.3 volts. Now again this is a positive clamper with a battery of minus 2 volts. So the reference will shift from 0 volts to 2.3 volts as shown in the waveform. The circuit shown here is an example of a negative clamper with negative battery so the reference will shift from 0 volts to minus 1.3 volts. The last example is of a negative clamper with positive biasing. So now here the reference will shift from 0 volts to 2.3 volts as shown in the waveform. Thank you.